Well, I want you to know I sent all your communications to me for Cal Corp for him to examine them. I yeah. said, you what? Well, you got a problem with that? I said, well, I'll tell you what, Phil. Here's how it's going to be, pal. I said, if that lunatic starts harassing me again, you're not going to like what I have to say about that on the radio. And he gets back to me, is that a threat? And I said, no, it's not a threat. It's a, by God, it's a simple promise. You know, now, Mantle, I, I, I never really considered him to be off the rails either. So I talked to somebody, a former colleague of his in the U.K., and this person whom I'm not going to identify, but this person told me that uh, Phil has uh, been off the rails for some time, and a lot of it goes all the way back to the uh, alien autopsy stuff. So, you know, what could I do? He's in England. I'm here. I said, the hell with it. I defriended him off of Facebook. So a few days go by, and then this Corf maniac starts. Now, Richie, buddy, how long have you and I known each other? 91, uh, 20 years. 20 years, buddy. 20 years, Jesus. 20 years we've known each other. Now, have you ever known me just because I simply didn't like somebody to go after them? Have you ever known me to do something like that? No. No, I never have. Now, I don't know if it's because I, I have a sense of ethics or, or whatever, but I figured that last week, okay, after the Friday show, this guy, Corf, I should have known better. I mean, come on, Ecker, pull your head out of your ass. But this guy would have slunk off somewhere. I mean, we had a former girlfriend on the on on the show. We had Lieutenant Colonel retired Kevin Randall on the show. We had David Biedne on the show. We had FN from the Cal is an Idiot blog on the show. Okay, and we had that roundtable. Now, I figured, okay, this guy at least is going to go somewhere and contemplate this, right? Wouldn't you think? Uh, I would not make that assumption at this point. <laughs> <laughs> well, and I sent it to you earlier today. Monday. I read it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I get up in the morning on Saturday, go have my cup of coffee, and I come into my studio, turn on my computer, and I think I'm going to check the mail, right? So I open up my mail program. And by God, here's a note from somebody, I don't have a clue who it is, called Dave U. Random, U as in uniform. And I look at his email address, it's anonymous at anonymite at something I am dash inter dash net, okay? Yeah. So I, better and better, baby. <laughs> I, I start to read this. Now, this is what the note says. Purportedly from an attorney, okay? Uh -huh. Mr. Ecker, this is official in all in caps, incidentally, just like an attorney would write. This is official notice to notify you that you are being sued for libel, slander, and defamation of Colonel Cal K. Korf. All in caps, Rich. <laughs> well, I think it's hysterical. It's like, uh, it, it reminds me of the kind of letters you get from uh, Publishers Clearinghouse. Yeah. <laughs> you know, with everything, you know, every fourth word uh, to hit you with a, like a bang, it's all in capitals, you know. Now, it just so happens I have a stepson. And, uh, I have a whatever. stepson that it's a real, honest-to-God lawyer, okay? Has been for years. And his his wife is a real, honest-to-God lawyer. Okay, I, I kind of have, and, and having been a cop, I kind of have, you know, a little bit of an idea how they write. And I knew yeah, right away. That ain't it. <laughs> that wasn't it. That's the way copywriters, uh, for direct mail, write. Yeah. You know. It, says, it goes on, though. You have been warned many, many times to cease your lies and slander against... C-O-L-O. -O. Now, if somebody wanted to abbreviate Colonel, 
<laughs> it's not C O L O dot Corf. Yet you refuse to do so. All in caps once again. <laughs> you have left oh, Colonel God. Corf with you know, all in caps. No choice but to press charges against you in a court of law and bring you to all caps. Justice. <laughs> I'm telling you, it is direct mail, absolute direct mail copywriting. But here was the thing. Hey, there, the guy had to go get some work, man. He get paid for that. Yes. Well, here's the thing. There was a real lawyer's name there. So <laughs> I, I looked the guy up, and uh, yeah, he's up in San Juan Capistrano. So I called his office. Now it was Saturday. I didn't think I'd get a get a call back. But I left my name, my number, what I did, why I, I was calling him. So about ten minutes later, my phone rings, and it's this lawyer. And he wants to know what the hell's going on. <laughs> 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 now, you know, here, here's to prove. You just said, congratulations, welcome to Calcorp's crazy world. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all, all, all spelled, incidentally, with K's. Capitals, yes. Yes. So I, I told him what was going on. Now, this guy, okay, is, I mean, we're talking big-time lawyer, okay? We're talking about he's a mediator, among other things. And, you know, you know what the guy gets a day for mediation? Uh, well, that can be uh, a chunk. Five grand. Yeah. How would you like to know that when you get up in the morning... And you're going to the office, and when you come home at night, you've got another five grand in your checking account. Wouldn't that be nice? Oh, that'd be real nice. That's how I used to feel when I was a working actor. <laughs> uh, I know, I know, I know. So, anyway, let's get back to the story. So, I'm, I'm sitting here, and I'm thinking to myself, this maroon can't be that nuts, Kenny. I mean, did he think I wouldn't call this guy up? So well, see, that's where it gets to be really bizarre. I mean, uh, it's like uh, you, you try to go through your mind and think of the possibilities right here. Okay, did he think you wouldn't check? Uh, did he know this was going to go uh, go down? He's just trying to stir the pot and get more his name mentioned more time. Maybe he's got a, a, a blog site where it, it automatically counts the number of times his name is mentioned. And maybe when he hits a million, he gets a payoff or something. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know some scam. You know, it's all a scam. This guy's born to scam. Well, you know, and he's a talented scam artist. <laughs> Only he's unbelievably un unraveling himself. I mean, he 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 gained himself some credibility with uh, the Billy Myers case. Then he did, took on the uh, he wrote about the the Roswell case too, didn't he? Yeah, oh yeah. He, he well, that that book was <clears throat> basically Richard nothing but a cut and paste job. Exactly. Even, well, that's what I'm saying. He's a, he's a skillful kind of scammer. You can see he's trying to create an identity, you know, over and over again. You know what I'm saying? Well, you you know, now, if you really did some checking on this guy, and most of it is online, several years ago, his brother, who, now, you know, if I, you know how big I am if I stretch my arms, okay? Yeah, you're a tall drink of water. Okay, if I stretch my arms out, his brother's got a rap sheet that long. Oh, so, really? <laughs> so, Older or younger? Uh, uh, a little older than him. So, anyway, his brother, whom I coined the term dirtbag brother, his dirtbag brother, um, was in with some people that did a home invasion and burglary, okay, and apparently pistol whipped one of the victims. Oy. And uh, they were trying to get away somehow. One of the victims, from what I understand, and I have to go back and read the case file again, but... Uh, called 911. The cops came out. Uh, of course, they had their weapons drawn. Uh, one of the one of the scumbags jumped out of the car, tried to split, and uh, according to the police officer's testimony, the dirtbag brother jumped in the wheel, gunned it, and uh, one of the cops slipped and fell, tried to run this cop down, and the other cop, his partner, fired a shot. Apparently, it wasn't a real good one. He clipped him around the head with it, I guess. Uh, you know, now I've, I've seen some people in my time, Richard, that have taken bullets to the head, and they don't usually walk away. Well, you know, this, uh, this guy survived, so it wasn't a really good solid hit. But then Cal went 
absolutely freaking insane, okay? And uh, he was on a rant, well, like he is now with, with me. <laughs> he went on a rant with the DA up there. And uh, he was having the special secret services getting involved. And I guess he was going to release nano dust on them. <laughs> it was, oh my God, it was, it was a, it was a three ring circus. And his brother ended up taking, taking a fall. He's, he's in, uh, he's in the pokey now. So, you know. Well, with, with all this history, you can see that, uh, you know, we're, we're, we, we shouldn't be wasting too much time on this guy. No, um, but, but, but we got something coming up here. I got to take a break right now. But, oh, is it that time already? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah it's it's almost good. almost the bottom bottom of our number one. Hey, so you're telling me there's more? Oh, oh my God! Are you kidding? Are you kidding? Now, before I take the break, I'll tell you, I I had heard about this that w- what we're going to be bringing up next. Okay, but the other night I only had two hours. Okay. Two hours, Rich. I mean, how much can you pack into two hours? That was like that was like when I on my ra- on my uh, music show, you know, Vicious Vinyl. You know, when I did the Doors. Now that show's only an hour. How in the hell can you do anything historically on the Doors in an hour? So I ended up doing two weeks on it. Well, that that's what happened here. Uh, Cal apparently defrauded some business people over in the Czech Republic to the tune of over 3000 bucks for electronic equipment. So what I did was I called one of the people over there that was involved in the investigation, okay? And uh, we're going we're gonna to be hitting on that next. So, ladies and gentlemen, what we're going to do now, we're going to take a quick break stick around because man i got some things coming up oh it's it's uh it's another three ring circus <laughs> then then i'm gonna open the lo- the phone lines up and uh you all can uh, join in so uh stick around dark matters radio and i'll be your host my name is don ecker and you are listening to cyber station usa Don Ecker of Dark Matters Radio. Okay, look, I've got a surprise for you. We reinitialized our Skype telephone line. So if you'd like to talk to me or my guest, this is what you do. Once again, give us a call at area code 818-381-4094. Once again, that's area code 818-381-4094. And until Cyber Station USA gets their brand new phone system up and running, you'll be able to contact us right here. So in the meantime, I'll see you on the radio. Guy, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so you were going to tell me about talking to someone back uh, in uh, Prague? Yes, in the Czech Republic, and that... With the loss of $3,000? Oh, yeah. Now, that is coming up right now. I mean, uh, so, Mr. Francis Underwood, who is known over there, his computer handle is F1 Racer. Uh, Francis, uh, I got in touch with uh, this gentleman, and he... uh, you know, he laid it out for me, Rich. What is what is his involvement? Well, he's one of the people that uh, that was involved in this blog, and also uh, knows uh, a lot of these people, or or at least then met a lot of these people that were uh, defrauded. Here, let's let's uh, have him tell us. 